In this short video, we're gonna showcase a brand new feature, which is the ability to upload and manage custom fonts. So to begin, as an Inksoft admin, you'll go ahead and log in and select Admin Portal. In which case, when we get into the Inksoft admin area, we're gonna to wanna to click Art from the main navigation. Now, once we select Art, I'll draw your attention to the left-hand side in the very last option on the left-hand side, which is called Fonts. Now, if you click uh, to extend the Fonts dropdown, you'll notice there's two options, Manage Fonts, and of course, the new option, which is Custom Fonts. Now, I will draw your attention very quickly to Manage Fonts. We've actually redesigned this uh, setting in Inksoft. I wanna introduce you to the new look and layout, which you can see here. So I can browse categories of default Inksoft fonts. So of course, Inksoft comes with well over 700 fonts and many, many categories, and you can browse those default fonts here. You have the option to deselect an individual font, and that's gonna make sure that that doesn't, does not display in the Inksoft Design Studio. So I can cherry pick which fonts do display, or I can deselect uh, or uh, select all or deselect all if I don't want uh, a specific category to display. Now, anytime you make a change, make sure to click save from the right hand side. I'll draw your attention to two other functions here, the ability to search fonts by typing in a keyword. Maybe you're searching for a specific name of a font. Additionally, the ability to download each and every font, and that's the ability to use these fonts offline for any other purposes. All right, so let's go ahead and click on custom fonts, and let me take you through the process of uploading a custom font into Inksoft. Now, first things first, here's a copyright notice. We just wanna draw your attention to the fact that fonts are works of art and they're oftentimes protected by copyrights. So there's open source fonts, which are free to use in any capacity. Um, so make sure before you upload a font, you have the permissions and the licensing to in fact upload and use that font uh, via the web. All right, so let me draw your attention to this button here that says upload font. Once you make that designation and you click on it, the very first thing you're gonna do is choose a font category where you wish your uploaded fonts to display. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say basic. Now you can drag and drop a font or more. You can actually batch upload fonts, so one or more fonts. I can drag and drop onto this workspace here or I can click browse computer and that's the ability for me to browse files on my computer, make selections and then upload. So let me give you a tip here. You can batch upload fonts, so I can upload 25 fonts in one motion, but you, you're gonna wanna do this category by category, so do it selectively. So if I have 20 fonts that I wanna introduce to decorative or elegant, I would upload those by selecting them all uh, by browsing computer or dragging and dropping. I would go through the process that I'll show you, then I'll come back and then process uh, fonts in a separate category. So it's really important to recognize uh, it's best to do category by category, but you can do more than one font at a time. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my desktop here, I'm gonna grab a file, and I can drag and drop it right onto this workspace. Now I do wanna point out that there are two types of fonts, font formats. There's TTF, which is true type font, and there's OTF, open type font. TTF is by far the most common and sort of the standard, uh, but Inksoft does support the two types of font extensions. Now once I upload one or more fonts, you'll notice here I get a dialog that indicates that that's uh, been uploaded. I'll go ahead and select Next Step, in which case you'll get this uh, prompt here that says rendering fonts. And of course, if you have more than one font, it may take a little bit more time to process. And what Inksoft is doing is programming your, your uploaded font. It's generating a preview and it's saving the, uh, the upload. So you can see here, here is a font preview. You'll see a font preview and the category assignment for each and every font that you have uploaded. Now we automatically generate a preview and that's gonna display in the design studio so your customers can kind of get a sense of what that font looks like just by seeing it in the font dropdown uh, listing. And we automatically adopt the name of the font that was embedded and programmed into the font. In this case, I uploaded bangers. That name was programmed into the font format itself. So we've automatically updated, or excuse me, generated a font preview and we've automatically identified the name that's embedded in the font itself. Now, there's one more step in order to complete this. I have to agree to the terms and conditions of uploading custom fonts. And again, this is just a reinforcement of the uh, copyrights that uh, tend to be associated to different fonts. Make sure that you have paid for licensing or you have permission to use uploaded fonts. I can go ahead and finish the process by selecting Upload. And I'll get a success message uh, when the upload is complete. Now that that upload is complete, you'll notice the category assignment on the left-hand side. 
Uh, so of course, if I have more than one category of uploaded custom fonts, I would see those displaying here. I can disable a font temporarily. So I can deselect allowed, click save to make sure that that does not display in the Inksoft Design Studio. Now, of course, you're gonna see the font preview that Inksoft generated and the font category that uh, was assigned. I do wanna point out that maybe you decide later to, to reassign the category. I can go ahead and select an existing category and I can click save to update that change. Now, just like we have at Manage Fonts, I have the ability to search, I have the ability to delete an uploaded font, and of course, I have the ability to download any of the custom fonts that I've uploaded. So a word of caution before, uh, before we conclude our video, we've talked about copyright terms and, and make sure you're operating within those, um, those confines. But additionally, what we uh, wanna stress is overwhelming consumers with too many options is never a desirable thing. So think before you, you upload too many fonts in specific categories because you could overwhelm uh, you know, your, your consumers. There's way too many choices and options. So be mindful of choosing the appropriate and maybe a, a curated range of fonts to, to add to the design studio. Now, make sure if you have any questions, take a look at the step-by-step -step guide that does accompany this video or reach out to the Inksoft Success Squad with any of your questions.